Mr. Lim Biao Chuan. Madam, a few years ago, I was looking to buy a hybrid car. I wanted to do my small part to buy a car which uses less petrol and hence be environmentally more friendly. However, at a car dealer, I was told that a hybrid version of the car would cost almost $10,000 more than a petrol model. The car dealer told me that unless I drive long distances, the savings in petrol would not be able to offset the higher cost of the hybrid car. Thus, while I applaud the intent of the government to move towards cleaner energy car models, we need to take a holistic view at the pricing of the cars such that we can effectively encourage car buyers to opt for cleaner energy cars. Thus, the government should look at lowering taxes on electric cars or hybrid cars so that a similar model would either be less expensive than an internal combustion engine vehicle or at least on par in terms of pricing. Otherwise, the average consumer may not want to pay more for a cleaner or greener vehicle if it burns a big hole in his pocket. We should also look into making more charging points easily available. Recent media reports suggest that very few condominiums allow the installation of charging points for electric vehicles. And for those condos that wish to do so, they need to seek approval at the annual general meeting of residents, where, whereby 75% must approve the installation of the charging station. Now, without available charging points for their electric vehicles, many drivers will be concerned as to how they charge their electric vehicles. Thus, I urge LTA to make it compulsory for HDB car parks, for condominiums, and even office buildings to provide a minimum number of charging points in the car parks. Mandate the installation of such charging points because waiting for the condominium to approve the installation at AGMs would take far too long. And wherever possible, charging points should also be installed on the streets or roads next to parking lots. To encourage condominiums, office buildings and HDB estates to set aside space for charging stations, LTA should also consider some form of financial incentives for them. May I also ask the Minister whether the projected installation of more charging stations will require extensive electrical upgrades? If so, what is the cost involved to, to upgrade the electrical power? We not only need charging points for the electric vehicles, we also need the chargers to be able to charge the electric vehicles quickly. If it takes too long to fully charge an electric vehicle, then consumers may not want to spend the time waiting for their cars to be charged. Finally, I also call on the government to consider how to dispose of spent or used batteries of electric vehicles, such that at the end of the day, we will not end up with an environmental hazard and the question of how to dispose of such batteries. Thank you.